Now yes. we're revisiting for the second time 10,000 Maniacs. We've already covered them before. I believe we did. Did we do Blind Man Zoo, right? Oh, that's a good question. Um... Or, or it was in, no, it might be, no, we did In My Tribe. Yes. In My Tribe Correct. is what we did. I apologize. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, well, what'd you think? Um, this is their last album because Natalie Merchant goes, uh, they do the unplugged and then Natalie Merchant goes solo yeah. right after this. Mm-hmm. And, well, and they announced this as their last album before they did it. So yeah, it's so knew. interesting because, um, you know, I was, I, in some sense I can see why she would go solo, but maybe, and I don't, I'm not, I think I know some of her solo singles that got pretty popular, but you probably um, know Carnival would yes. be a song you yeah, probably know. Yeah, there's others too, but yeah. that's the I just will go with that as the big one. Um, mm-hmm. I, I was really high on on the the album that we talked about previously yep. in my tribe. Um, I really liked Nellie Merchant and yep. kind of her vibe. Actually, she's one of the few artists that I went back and watched a lot of videos of her in, in that unplugged mm-hmm. um, album uh, yeah. s- session as well, because that's not kind of like it's like really only on YouTube um, from what I Which saw. Which is an awesome show that I've yeah. It's one of the better ones. Yeah. Yeah. I think it really highlights her voice in this, and this album is kind of more of the same for me in a good way. Like it really, uh, I really love her voice and kind of her vibe. And she's got this weird, I don't know if this is Freudian or what, but she's got like this motherly feel to her to me. Um, oh, I always have said the same yeah. thing. She's got like a warm embrace of a yeah. mother. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, she's got good range in her voice, and I feel like um, as far as the rest of the band goes, they kind of add some variety on this album as well. There's some more up-tempo stuff. They add some horns, which I really liked, in songs like, um, let me just pull it up here. Uh, well, um well, like they do, they def. You're asking what songs do they have horns on? Oh, few and far between. Few that and was far one. between for yeah. sure. Yeah, candy. Everybody mm-hmm. wants. I don't know if that has horns, but that was a really good song and a pretty big single. Um, I like that as well. Yeah, that has horns. That dun, yeah. dun, 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 dun. Yep. <laughs> that's like horns. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I really liked uh, the album's pretty solid overall. I I kind of just am able to be carried away by her voice and um. What did you think about this album? So I, uh, the stuff that is strong on this album, I've always liked. Um, and, uh, and just so happens on this album, because I actually like some deep cuts in the 10,000 Maniacs larger catalog quite a mm-hmm. bit. But this one, I do think the big ones are, you know, the songs that you would know, which is, um, you know. Uh, these are days. <laughs> these are days. <laughs> That's a good song. Candy Everybody Once was a yep. big song. You know, those are the ones I'm not the man um, from this version was not as big, but then the version from unplugged became a thing. Cause the unplugged version is a better version of that song. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say, uh, I think what is disappointing about this album a little bit is it is a little bit more adult contemporary for me. Mm, um, okay. It's definitely more a Natalie Merchant album, I feel like, than a 10,000 maniacs album, but knowing where Natalie Merchant goes after this, it, she finds a lane that is, I think, a little bit more total for this. And I like 10,000 Maniacs, but I was a little disappointed. And I was like, oh, man, because like Blind Man Zoo, the album after this, has songs like, you know, Eat for Two and Trouble Me and um, Poison in the Well and stuff. Some songs I really like from them mm-hmm. uh, that we didn't cover. And, uh, and this one didn't have the same level of deep cuts for me as some of the the others did. I I have liked um, Gold Rush Brides a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think the other thing that stands out to me is there's a lot of these songs are on the unplugged, and I do feel the unplugged version of these songs in many cases is the stronger version. There's something about the stripped-down nature of the unplugged Mm -hmm. performances as opposed to the studio version of some of these songs that really enhances them. Like, And I think of like... uh, these are days, which is basically just a showcase for Natalie Merchant's voice on yep. that show. Mm-hmm. There's an added gravitas to the "I'm Not the Man" song, you know, about the death penalty, like mm-hmm. in the spare arrangement of that room. Um, yeah, it's I, it's also a much slower album, so there's a lot less jangle, yes. which is something That's that I true. associate with the Ten Thousand Maniacs on every album up to this, and then mm-hmm. suddenly the pleasant jangle that's around that I, I love about them 
kind of disappears completely and it's missed on this album a little bit. So um, the songs, are, I know Natalie Merchant's songwriting is not for everybody. She's very direct. There is no subtext. It's all text. She'll mm-hmm. tell you exactly what her thoughts are on an issue. I know for some people, especially after we talked about, you know, corny lyrics and stuff, some people might, I guess, have that vibe for her because there's an earnestness to her lyrics. I don't find her lyrics to be um, sort of what we talked about earlier, sort of right. uh, not. I, I wouldn't say necessarily they're like profound in the way that when somebody takes a different angle for you or makes you think, these are much more like I'm going to give you my editorial opinion on these things and, and directly tell you. Um, and, and a lot of the issues she sings about, maybe it helps that I agree with her take on a lot of the issues and i think she was singing about things that it's somewhat bold to sing about it in popular music and and they were a popular band yep. uh at this time but uh, i don't find her like some people do to be overly um preachy yeah um it does work for me um yeah I but don't... yeah i go, go ahead. ahead i'm sorry i was gonna say i don't really get that vibe either i, I no. it works for me as well mm-hmm yeah, I but I just think at the end of the day, I like this album, but I don't love this album. Mm-hmm. I when we did in my tribe, there was all kinds of songs, and I remember listening to that album. I'm like, this is this is an album that's much better than it gets credit for. Yep. And then um, I just was curious after listening to this, I was like, huh, did I misremember like why I like Ten Thousand Maniacs? And then I listened to Blind Man Zoo, and I'm like, no, like this. There's a lot I like on this album too, and um, and they have a one thing about Ten Thousand Maniacs too is. They have a very good greatest hits album. Mm-hmm. Um, they there because there's a couple good songs, strong songs on every album they do, um, even from the early stuff. And so they're a great uh, greatest hits band as well. Yeah, if 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 you're interested in our take on in my tribe, uh, that's from '87, and we covered that back on mm-hmm. episode 23 last season. Um, and then uh, we didn't cover Blind Man Zoo, but that came out in '89. And then right. this, and that was a pretty. It looks like that was kind of their highest charting album, actually. It was, and, yeah. That was probably their peak. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then this album also did pretty well. I mean, obviously, two times platinum is is no, nothing to joke at. Um, mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I, it's interesting the jangle part. I didn't really think about that. I didn't go back and listen to in my tribe though. Too, I bet that probably is something that is missing from this um as well but it didn't really bother me this time oh gosh if you heard i mean if you go back and listen to you know um in my tribe it's all over it and it's still very much like i'm thinking like eat for two and poison the well two songs i i mentioned before Mm -hmm. Uh, trouble me is a little bit more like what this album's like but um those other songs are you know almost rem level jangle Mm. you know or like you know the the rem birds jangle is is all over that so Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, yeah, those are from from Blind Man Zoo. I think you said in my mm-hmm. tribe, but um, yeah. Oh, yeah. did I? Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, good good stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, and again, and I our think... last time covering them because well, although we're going to cover Natalie Merchant's um, debut solo album, so oh okay, we'll good be stuff. back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tiger so I think Lily is the name. Both both uh, we're both positive on this album overall. Uh, yeah, I'd say yeah. so. I, I, I've always liked 